hi guys um this video is for uh, setting up your time order modem which i am using for aris um aris modem and the modem model number is dg1670 this video is also for a few more purposes one is for if you are switching an account from time order to so from any any other customer um, internet paying services to time order or you are switching your time order account from one location to other location or you are switching accounts or any other matter this video will help you in that regard so first thing to do first is that for i'll give you my example scenario so that you can relate your own examples and get over, over with it or relate with your own experiences so first thing i have a group internet plan as a part of um my rent agreement for which i used to pay 23 dollars per month but suddenly they decided one day to you know get away with this service and asked every user to get their own uh, internet plan to so to get a good deal what you need to do is you have to go online on time order and get an online offer the online offer is like 35 34.99 for 39 dollar plan so basically the everywhere the plan is 39.99 but as part of online offer you will get at 34.99 per month plan for 60 mb um, ps plan it's called extreme plan only internet nothing else and uh, that plan uh, is like no contract so you can break any time and it says one year lock in period so it's like for one year the rate locks are there for 35 dollar now that plan is good enough for you to maintain and a uh, simple household to do surfing watching movies and all those stuff you can do everything in that plan now uh, my other act, um, plan which is from my apartment is still active uh, and a lot of places people say that no you cannot have f2 accounts and all all this kind of shit is going on you cannot figure out the things so best thing is that go online call and talk to a customer care executive ask them that you want to buy a new internet plan from time order give them the extreme plan ask them i want an internet uh, offer get them 35 dollar and before that you do that i will recommend you to buy an an a uh, modem uh, and like like this one alice modem and uh, get it online I, i bought it from the ebay and it's cheap it's refurbished Your refurbished can cost you around 34 dollar 25 dollars or 35 dollars even you get 35 dollars but remember you have to buy only from seller not sell refurbished but from um uh, manufacturer refurbish it's better to always buy from manufacturer refurbish so get a modem get a mac address so every modem will have mac address is down here you have to go and you can get the mac address from here note it down and when you call a customer care you you should have the mac address because what what they will do they will open an account they will give you an account number you can create an, and they will you can set it up using your own uh, email id and password later but they will set up a account with account number and in that account number they will they will put feed in this mac address and a specific date and time so on from that date and time automatically their system will you know bring your current modem which you are buying new one modem live um for internet because they will not allow any other modem to connect like this to get any new modem established on the network it has to be entered into a system the the, it, the mac address like like ip address for the modem that has to be entered into the system and that should be activated on a specific date and time so you do that you open an account set up an account they will ask you to pay you some 39 dollars 35 dollars beforehand as a first month plan first month charges and they will ask you your mac address they will ask you your few more details i think ssn number they will ask you to for your validation of your credibility and then they will set it up so on the day when you want to set up this account uh, it's already your modem is sweared into the system it's everything is there data is there and it has to come live on some time say on say say today so what you have to do in that day is that your other modem is also active which is your company your previous modem or your time on previous modem or your this apartment modem so both modem can be activated at one time and they are because one modem is at uh, one modem is at your apartment account and one modem is at your name account though they are on same address but they are two different mac addresses they can they can be live i have i have this example my old modem is working and my new modem is still there and i, I have tested it it is also working i can but at a one time only one can work you cannot have two modem working at the same location but both can be activated because they have two separate mac addresses so what you have to do is that you have to first you know uh, power on this 
modem connect connect here power on the modem uh, no no don't power on first connect the coaxial cable and every remember time owner has have only one one uh, live coaxial cable link in your home and that should be mostly in your washer dryer room or somewhere it's only one remember that's what time owner uh, guys told me that though you have multiple ports in your home but only one is a live port where from where the one input comes from the time owner so make sure that you first connect this uh, port with an uh, live uh, time owner port with an coaxial cable here and then turn on the power once you turn on the power what will happen first the power button will go on after say 5 10 20 second usds light will start blinking it will get stable and then after one or two minutes this online light will start blinking and then it will stop at one point when it stop that means you on your modem is online it's online but it's not activated yet remember it's online that means it's it's getting the signals once the online light is stable but if online light, light is also not stable that means your modem is not even connected that means either you can do a wrong port the wrong wrong input in a home or something problem with the internet connection or something problem with the modem so better you call in that case you call a customer care in my home the problem is uh, the, i call mostly on wi-fi and without internet it's difficult to call even the customer care so i had to make sure that everything works fine before i make switch on this uh, internet connection so remember first your power should go on then your your light will start making blue light will come here then your uh, usds connect and light should blink and then online light should blink online light should blink and stabilize if it is not stabilized that means there is no signal it should stabilize once that stabilized that means your modem is online and that is possible only when your mac address of the modem is already fed into the system if it is not fed that means even you will not get a signal in my case my mac address has already been fed because i have already opened an account and that account account is activated on so and so date so my modem is in the system and therefore i, am, I got the online signal once i got the online signal still I, you will not get internet because to get internet access you first have to connect any of this port like in, in, in other models you have only one output port one is this input coaxial and one should be output so from that output port you connect your laptop your laptop through an you know through a cable and that once you do that you have to log in to an website called registration.rr.com that's a default website which is for time on a website which will take you to registration process so basically they want you to register this modem this device in their network and then only they will you know let you use this device over the network so first of all you have to go to an uh, registration.rr.com if not i think by default they will uh, there is a separate page for time on which will then get to you to to the registration page basically they want to identify you they will ask your account number your zip code and all whatever they want to know and once you enter that it has three step process very simple you just they will ask you to accept an agreement once they accept it they will say you are online so like within two or three minutes you will you'll be online and you can then type google and see what if you are getting connection or not and then you're all set this is all about you know setting up the network and uh, you know i have told you about uh, you should buy a modem you can buy it from internet or ebay or new or old i bought this alice one because it has a uh, Wi-Fi route, Wi-Fi as well as the uh, uh, modem. It has four output ports, so I can connect to different walls in my home, and it has um, you know pen drive option as well. And I remember Time One has only one in active uh, coaxial cable in your home, so this is this one, and you can get the online deal for the internet plan, um, like five dollar less. Call. Um, extreme plan and because everywhere people this they sell at forty dollars you can get it thirty five dollars and then what else yeah you have to register you have to call the customer care open a new account and let them know your mac address of the new modem which you buy so before you open an account you should have a mac new mac address or a new modem let them feed the mac, uh, mac address into their system and uh, then on the day on a specific day and time you can give them and um the, on that day and time you have to connect your modem register your modem by connecting to this port to the computer and your modem will come online and you are good to go that's all that's all for today and have a good day thank you